Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have this new pattern up on the shop in kit sizes 2 to 6. A fun spiderweb poncho. Like always, I include the pattern file along with the pattern instructions. And on here, I have the printing settings, which you need to print out on 100% scale. On A4 paper, I also include the picture guide on how to tape the pattern and the kit size chart. And yeah, of course, here's the video tutorial. Okay, so let's get started with the pattern file. I always recommend that you print out the first page so we can double check that it's printed out correctly. As you can see, I have this test square. Basically, the point of this is to make sure, again, that we printed it out correctly. So grab your measuring tape. You can measure in centimeters or inches, doesn't matter as long as it measures two by two inches or five by five centimeters. And if it does, then we're good to go and we can start cutting and taping our pattern. Uh, another thing as well, as you can see on the pattern, it has a shaded light gray letter and number in each page. That way you know how, like, how to tape it. If you grab your picture guide, I also put a picture on how you're supposed to tape them. So across and then down. Another thing that I did for this pattern is I didn't want to waste paper, so we are skipping a couple numbers. For example, on C1, it's not there, so we're going to go to C2 and then so on. Uh, that way, again, you know, I just kind of found it pointless to add a page when you don't really need it. So, um, yeah. Okay, let's get started. Another thing is, if you can see, each page has like a dotted border line. You can either overlap them and connect them on the dotted line if you find that easy however what i like to do is cut one side and then connect them on the dotted line and then tape them it's the easiest for me um, it's up to you what you decide but again what matters is that you're connecting all the pattern pieces on the dotted line I also included the size key, so basically each color represents its size. For this example, I'm going to be making a size 6. Okay, so let's get started. I already cut out the lining and the outer fabric. We're going to start off with creating the spider web on the main fabric. For the ribbon, I'll be using a 3 8 inch like width. And this ribbon is this really nice velvet material. I prefer this one than just a regular satin or cross grain ribbon. I'll try to see if mine is still in stores. I bought it from Amazon a long time ago. I bought a bunch. Uh, I don't know if the code works, but if you guys want to take a picture and screenshot it and see if it works, try it. But yeah, like I said, I'll try to link it down below. Okay, so we're going to pin the lines horizontal first. All I have to say is less lines, the better, because we're going to have to sew basically both sides of the ribbon. We're going to start from one edge, go all the way around, and sew the other edge of the ribbon to hold it nicely in place. And so, yeah, it's a lot, a lot of sewing. So, yeah, it's a bit time consuming. This is why I'm telling you guys, less lines, the better. But again, it's up to you. If you want to add more lines to your spider web, go ahead. I did three, three across, and then three, um vertical and it seemed to work well for me i really do like how it turned out but again if you want to add more lines go ahead but yeah so you can see i'm going back on the same ribbon and sewing the other edge as well and then once you're done sewing the ones across we're going to pin and start sewing the lines that go vertical and so this is how mine looks uh, and after that, we're going to start on the back. Okay, so quickly before we start, you know, cutting the ribbon for the back, I'm going to mark and transfer the lines from the front of the poncho that go horizontal to the back of the poncho. So it could be our guide on where to put the lines when we're placing them horizontally. So yeah, I just grab the chalk and I'm quickly marking 
like I said, the ones on the side. That way, you know, we have a nice finish on the seam as well and they're not crooked or anything. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then this is how it turned out with all of the ribbon sewn for the front and the back. Okay, so now we're going to sew one side of the shoulder seam. Please make sure that you're also like matching the lines as well. You know, so we could have a nice shoulder seam. Like right now, I'm showing you guys my lines come out pretty good. That's basically our main goal. Okay, so I only sewed one sh shoulder seam because we're actually going to add another ribbon going vertical. So going down our shoulder. You know, I felt like I needed it. So we're adding it. I think it was the perfect touch. Um, you don't have to, I guess, if you don't want to, it's up to you. But yeah, again, we're sewing both sides of the ribbon. So yeah, this is how it looks like on the shoulder. And we're going to repeat the same steps on the other side of the shoulder seam. And then we can start working on the lining. For the lining, we're going to pin right sides together and sew half an inch. And then after that, we're going to pin them together right sides and pin at the bottom hem and sew half an inch. This is how your poncho should look like with the lining and main fabric pinned together right sides. But like I said, we're going to sew half an inch at the bottom and once you're done sewing, we're going to clip and trim. Okay, so we're going to pin the lining and the outer fabric on the neckline. I stitched it quickly to hold it in place. Uh, but now we're going to, you know, use some bias tape to have a nice finish. I'm using this one that I bought from Hobby Lobby. It's the uh, extra wide double fold half an inch. And yeah, so I'm going to quickly sew that on. But yeah, we're pretty much done with this spider web poncho. And this is how it turned out. So yeah, we're pretty much done. I hope you guys found this video tutorial helpful. I'll have the pattern linked down below in case you're interested. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.